All right, so uh, this is the context who wants to be a mathematician. You're in the right place. Uh, it's presented by the American Mathematical Society. That's who I work for. Uh, and there's a lot of people here who work for the American Mathematical Society. Uh, we can cheer if they want. We can all cheer. Hey. The American Mathematical Society has offices in Providence, Rhode Island, where, of course, everybody would want to be. Uh, <laughs> Ann Arbor, Michigan, uh, and in Washington, D.C. So Ann Arbor is a huge office that we have, uh, and, and we're happy to be here. And, and, we're, and we always bring warm weather with us, too, wherever we go. So it worked out really nice. Uh, and so that's the uh, URL for the game. And here are the contestants for game one, and, we'll have, and we're playing two games with four contestants each. So uh, once we get uh, after game one, then believe it or not, we'll play game two with the other four contestants. And these are the prizes that they'll be playing for in both games. Fourth place in each game will win What's Happening in the Mathematical Sciences. That's a set of books that's published by the AMS. It's a seven-volume series. Uh, just barely behind Harry Potter, the other seven-volume series. <laughs> Uh, and uh, third place in each game will win a, a calculus book, not the whole subject of calculus, but the calculus book uh, from John Wiley and Sons. Uh, we'll also give you the, the, the big truck to carry it home with. Uh, second place will win something much easier to carry, a uh, software uh, from the Mabel Soft Company, Mabel 13. Uh, and first place in each game will win a graphing calculator from Texas Instruments, the TI Inspire. Also, the first place winner uh, will get $500 in, in cash, not, not, uh, not the... Uh, AMS points or anything like that. We'll get that. And then both winners will play against one another for another $500 and then a chance at the $2,000 bonus prize. So uh, one person here, uh, not in the audience, or, or could be one of the four contestants from game two, but one of the contestants has a chance to win $3,000 today. Uh, and I remind the contestants that in, in, in the tradition in that is always to split it 50-50 with the host and judge. Uh, so, uh, and so uh, here are the contestants. This is all eight contestants in alphabetical order. This is where you want to cheer as hard as you want. Uh, and here they are in alphabetical order. Mariam Ayash from Forest High School. Game two. Uh, Wade Fraley, also game two from Green Hills High School. Neil Byrne, who's right here from Detroit Country Day School. Uh, Ying Young Wong from Huron High School, she's a game two. Uh, Stephanie Sanders from Harrison High School, Stephanie's right there. Uh, Julia Sephora from Cabrini High School, there's Julia right there. Very happy to be here in that uh, Kevin Wang from Rose High School, he's up on stage. And Mike Downing from Lasser High School, he's in game two as well. So those are the eight contestants that we'll be playing today. And uh, these are the sponsors that, that furnish the prizes. Texas Instruments, uh, Maplesoft, which is in uh, Waterloo, Ontario, uh, John Wiley and Sons, and the American Mathematical Society. Those are the four sponsors. And it will give you more chance to cheer. So here are the contestants that are right here. Uh, it's Neil Durham from Detroit Country Day School. <laughs> Stephanie Sanders from Harrison High School. Julia <laughs> Sporer from the Reading High School. So here's the practice question so you see how the game's going to work. Uh, it's really it's basically multiple choice questions all the time, uh, but you, and you should signal in on this even though it's a practice question. So which of the following is the Great Lake? It is also the name of a U.S. state, except for the lake part. Is it Lake Illinois, Lake Michigan, Lake Hawaii, or Lake Alaska? So here you'll see the question number all the time. This is practice, so it's uh, number zero. Here's how many points the question's worth. That'll go from 100 to 800 in the regular game. When the contestants signal in, the number for their uh, that corresponds to where they're sitting uh, will light up in light, light blue or a little dark blue than usual there. And so it's one through four in game one in alphabetical order, and then five through eight in game two also in alphabetical order. And over here is the timer. Uh, and as I tell the contestants, that only goes to zero. It doesn't go down to negative numbers. So they, they can, as long as the contestants signal in with, before that gets to zero, then their answer counts. So it's not the first person who gets in or anything like that. And then they can change their answers if they want. Uh, they didn't seem to want to on that. Uh, and after the question, uh, after the time's up, then we reveal the answer. Uh, and if we reveal the answer first, then it'd be a lot easier game, but it would take a lot of time. We, we may happen, actually. Uh, and, and you see, whatever the right answer is, will end up in green, and the number of people that chose that uh, will be there. And then if, any of, if they get any of it wrong, uh, that will light up in red, the choices that, and the number of people that chose them. And in this case, uh, you can't fool them with that question. Everybody got it right pretty good. Uh, and so it will not be, well, it might always be the case that we'll always have perfect squares for the number of interest in this case that we did. Uh, so that's how the game is going to work. Uh, any questions about the game? We practiced it ahead of time just to make sure contestants all set to go. 
All right, uh, so we will go. Uh, and uh, as we say in the math game show industry,